Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can make sure that you've got equal spacing between each of these visuals here. And also at the same time, ensuring that each of these visuals is exactly the same size. And that helps to create a bit of balance and a bit of symmetry within your reports. Okay, so let's get started. So what we've got here is we've got these three visuals here and I want the space between each of these visuals, the side of the report and each of the visuals here to be the same while also making sure that each one of these visuals is the same. Now, it's fairly straightforward to get the spaces the same, but what tends to happen is the spaces are, if we just go in here and we go on to this snap to grid, you can use the snap to grid and it will extend out by eight points and then we can make this one exactly the same this is all easy stuff to do and you'll know this and we can extend that out by eight points and then we can extend this one out by eight points however what we then have is we've got to play about with the size of this one here to try and make sure that it is actually the same as this one here while still making sure that that is eight points there now you could do it, but it means that one of these is always going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller than the other two. So how do we calculate the width of these measures, uh, these visuals here, while also making sure that this distance is always, for example, eight. So let's go over to PowerPoint and I'll show you the calculation. Okay, so we've got the length, the width of the screen here, which is 1280. Now this could be any width you want your report to be. Um, if you're working on a phone or any other sort of width, but this is the one I've set up for just now. And we've got our three visuals here. And again, this can work for any number of visuals you want. And we can see we've got an equal, or we want to have an equal distance between the side of the visual and the screen and between each of the visuals. And we also want the visuals to be exactly the same. So that's the scenario we've got. So we're going to call each one of these X because they are all the same width or the same dis distance between them, and we're going to call this y. And then we do some pretty simple mathematics. 4x, so this plus this plus this plus this plus 3y, so y plus y plus y equals, must equal this 100, 1,280. So if we want the distance here x to be 8, we can plug this into this equation, and that is 4 times 8, it's not x, it's 4 times 8, plus 3 times y equals 1,280. And then we just start multiplying that out. So we've got 3y equals minus 32, because we're taking the 32 across to the other side of the equation, so it becomes a minus. That 4 times 8 is 32. And then finally, we divide this whole section here, 1,2,8,0, minus 32 divided by 3, and that gives us the width that we need to make each one of these in order to make sure that these spaces are all eight. So it's 416, so fairly straightforward. So let's knit back into Power BI and we will make those changes. Okay, so I'm back in Power BI and I have, um, I've got these two here. Um, I've got that initial space there as eight. So now I need to change this to one, um, 416. So let's go in here, go to general, go to properties, and let's change the width here to 416. Let's click on this one here and make that 416. And let's click on this one here and make that 416. Okay, so now all I need to do is make sure these line up and we can see as soon as we see that little red, I'll show you again, that red line there in between the two visuals we know they're right next to each other and then we just need to use the arrow and because we've got this snap to grid activated it's going to extend it out by eight and then we'll do the same at this side here extend it out by eight and now we've got these perfectly um, sized visuals with the the distance between them all being eight which is exactly the same and it just looks a lot better and a lot more symmetrical when it just helps with the design Okay, so what happens if you want the number to be something else other than eight? So let's go and have a look at that scenario. 
Okay, so we're back here, and this time we want the distance between them to be 10. Okay, so we carry out exactly the same calculation, but this time we are um, replacing the 32 by 40. And if you see here, it gives us a decimal here, 413.33. So let's go back and make those changes. Okay, so we're back in here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this flush against the side of the report here. And what we need to do is go into general, go to properties, and we go to position. And rather than use the arrow keys, we are going to actually type this in to be a bit more accurate. So I'm going to type in 10 here. Now, the size, if you use these arrows here, it looks like you can't put fractions in as a size here, or decimals. But in actual fact, you can. So let's put, oh, it's not a vertical size. It is this width here. So that is going to be 413.33. And then we can do the same for each one of these. Let's align it here. Now, what we're finding is we've got this snap to grid on, so I need to take that off. And we should be able to link it up. That's fine. So we've, we've got to take off this snap to grid because it's trying to snap to areas or locations that are eight. Um, points between each other on, on a grid that's behind, that's really um, been overlaid onto this this visual here. So we need to make sure this snap to grid has been taken off. And then we go in here and we go to general, we go to properties, we go to position, and we just need to change that horizontal position by 10. So it's going to be 31. And then we'll do the same here. Oops, sorry, we need to change this here. So that's 413.33. And then this one here, again, is going to be a horizontal position extended by 10. So we'll make that 54. Okay, so just a slight difference there in that we're being a bit more precise. We're not using the other keys. We're actually, actually typing the position, the horizontal position, into the visuals properties so we know exactly where it's sitting on the page but works for any anything it's easier if it's eight works for 10 works for 12 works for any any anything you want there now you can also do a, a similar exercise if you need them to be horizontally positioned with equal distances between them okay so hopefully you found this useful if you are in the a similar situation in the future where you want to get equal spacing between equal width visuals then you can use this little equation to help you calculate those distances and those widths Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.